In this video, we're going to talk about the error bound for a linear approximation in two variables. So uh, suppose that we have a function f of x, y, which, is, which has first and second partial derivatives that are continuous on an open set containing a rectangle centered uh, at x, o, y, o. And we're going to assume that if m is the upper bound for the values of the second partial derivatives of f respect to x, y, and the mixed partial on R, then the error, so the error is going to be determined by this formula right here. So this is our linearization of the function. Uh, we're going to call it a local linearization because of course this could be used to approximate the function value as long as you're nearby x, o, y, o. So it's a local linearization. So since we're approximating, there's going to be some error and we wanna know what's the magnitude of the error. So that's given by this formula. So we need to find M, which will be the upper bound on our uh, second partial derivatives right here. So remember that this M right here, it's going to be our uh, maximum values of um, our second partial respect to x and y, and also the mixed partials uh, respect to x, y. So that will be m, where r, this is going to be on r. So r is going to be this uh, rectangle, so set up point x, y, such that uh, x minus x, o is less than or equal to some number a, and y minus y o in absolute value as not equal to some b. So that's how you're going to um, uh, figure out what the maximum value of our uh, second partial derivatives on that rectangle. Now let's take a look at an example and see how this is used. So here's an example we're going to be working out. First, we're going to find the linearization for this function f of x, y, which pretty much means to find the tangent plane at that point. And then we're going to find an upper bound for the magnitude of the error uh, in this approximation, because using L of X to approximate our function over this rectangle R, which is centered at the point two comma five. Our L of X, Y, which is our tangent plane, it's going to be uh, Z, O, or I can call it F of X, O, Y, O. So we'll evaluate the function uh, at X, O, Y, O, plus partial of f respect to x uh, evaluated at the point PO times x minus XO plus partial of f respect to y evaluated at PO times y minus YO. That's really your tangent line at that point, but we're gonna use this to approximate a function value. So we call it a local linearization. So we need to figure out what these components are. What is this one? What is this one? And what is that one? And then we plug them in, that's your linearization. So using this function, let's find its partial derivative. So first we're gonna evaluate f at the point two comma five. So plug in x and y coordinates, you have two squared minus four times x, y. So x is two, y is five. So this is four times two times five plus two. And then uh, you evaluate this. So this is gonna give us four minus four times two, that's gonna be eight. And then eight times five, that's gonna give us 40. So we're going to get negative 40 right here, and then plus two. So this is gonna give us about negative 34. All right, so now that we have that, this is our f of x, o, y, o. So that's what we're gonna plug in for this right here. Now we're gonna take care of our partial derivatives. So let's find partial of f respect to x. So that's gonna be taking the partial derivative of this respect to x. So that would be two x minus four y. Now evaluate it at PO, which is two comma five. So that's two times two minus four times five. And that's gonna give us four minus 20. That's negative. 16. Okay, and now we're gonna compute the partial of f respect to y. So again, going back to the original function, take the partial of f respect to y, that's just gonna give you a negative four 
x. Now evaluate it at PO. That's negative 4 times 2. That will be negative 8. All right, so we have everything that we need for our um, tangent plane. So our L of x, y right here, our local linearization in two variables, this is going to be f of x, o, y, o, that we got for negative 34 plus partial of f respect to y at that point that happens to be negative 16. So negative 16 x minus x, o, that's 2, and then minus 8, that's partial of f respect to y uh, times y minus y, o, that's 5. Now let's clear things up. So this is going to give us negative 34 uh, minus 16 x plus 32 minus 8 y plus 40. So I simply distributed these guys out right here. And now combining common terms, we have negative 16 x minus 8 y plus 38. So this is going to be our linearization at that point, 2 comma 5. Now, to find the magnitude of the error, we know that our error in absolute value is going to be less than or equal to 1 half times m. So we'll have to compute what will be the upper bound for m times x minus xo plus y minus yo squared. And we're given the following. We're given that x minus xo, xo is 2. So this is x minus 2. We're given it's less than or equal to 0.2. And we're also given y minus 5 less than or equal to also 0.2. So we're going to use that in our um, error bound. So let's find m. So we're going to compute those second partial derivatives. So f of xx. So if you take your partial of f respect to x and take its second partial respect to x, you're going to get 2. And then take partial of f, partial of f respect to y, y. That's going to give you 0 and partial of x respect to y, that's going to be negative 4. Now we're going to take absolute value of these. So the absolute value of x sub x, x, that's going to be 2. Absolute value of x, um, f of y, y, that's going to be 0. And the absolute value of f, x, y, that's going to be absolute value of negative 4, that's 4. So m is going to be the maximum of these numbers. So it will be maximum of 0, 2, and 4. So the maximum between these three is going to be 4. So that's your selection for m. Now, once you figure out the m, then it's just a matter of plugging this into our uh, formula right here. So if I plug in m, that's 4. It's going to go right here times x minus x. Oh, well, we know this has to be less than or equal to 0.2. So this is going to be 0.2. And so for y minus y, o, that's also going to be 0.2, less than or equal to 0.2. And then we evaluate this. So this is going to be 4 times, we're going to get, um, so 4 divided by 2, that's going to be 2 times, we have 0.2 plus 0.2, that's 0.4 squared. It's going to give us point, uh, 2 times uh, 0.16, or you can write this as 0.32. So there you have it, our error uh, the magnitude of our error is going to be 0.32.